And we welcome back to GMA. Pretty explosive suggestion there with the Bergen record. Do you have any evidence at all that the CIA techniques revealed by WikiLeaks were used against Trump Tower? The president's just happy that the investigation now includes this aspect that the House Select Intelligence Committees in the House and Senate are now going to have this as part of their very attenuated Russia campaign connection. All I said to the Bergen Record is I was making a comment about the articles from this past week where it is revealed that one can be surveilled in any number of techniques through microwaves, through the cameras, through televisions. I wasn't talking yeah, about anything specific. Specifically, do you know whether the Trump Tower was wiretapped? And you answered by citing this report about the CIA techniques revealed by WikiLeaks. Why would you make a suggestion like that without any evidence? I wasn't making a suggestion about Trump Tower. I, I, these are two separate things. That's what things. you were asked about. And I answered him about surveilling generally. But you have no evidence that that kind of surveillance was used against Trump. Tower. I have no evidence, but that's why there's an investigation in Congress. That's particularly what investigations are for. And I would note that Director Comey has asked the Department of Justice to make a comment, but he hasn't made a comment. I noticed yesterday in your show with Congressman Schiff that he said he plans to ask Director Comey about this when he has him before the committee later in the month. Just to be clear, you're saying you have no evidence for these allegations. No, of course I don't have any evidence for those allegations. And that answer has nothing to do with, with what the president said last week. Let's move on to health care. The president's promising insurance to everyone. We're awaiting that CBO report today. I know the White House has questions about the CBO. You said back in January right here on GMA that those who are relying on coverage will not lose it. That promise stands? Yes, it does. And in fact, uh, there are 20 million people just last year who decided they didn't want to access Obamacare. In fact, 6.5 million of them paid a penalty. And that ends under Obamacare, under the repeal and replace, George. People no longer pay the penalty, the taxes, the mandates. You had other people asking for an undue hardship waiver, which I assume they were granted. But many Americans who were promised care, promised they can keep their plan, keep their doctor, uh, were told a big lie and they couldn't do it. Now we have premiums that are spiraling out of control. We have five states and 1,021 counties in this country where you can only access access one insurance provider. That's not a choice. And so, and, and, and it's actually in a downward spiral. It's unsustainable and it's unaffordable. I think the people who receive um, health care through Medicaid, people who receive health care through employers, which is many people in this country, they'll continue to have it as, they, as they're used to it now. But we're trying to equalize the tax treatment for the farmers, for the small business owners, for the mechanics who currently cannot pull together to you, access health insurance. You mentioned Medicaid. They're going to be pretty big cutbacks, about over, over 300 70 billion dollars in federal cutbacks in Medicaid over the next 10 years under the president's bill. So you'll receive tax credits if you're on Medicaid now, and there's a, this will be slow rolled. It'll take a couple years to be implemented, as you know. And if you're on Medicaid now, you can expect to continue to receive your health insurance through Medicaid, uh, and you'll get tax credits that allow you to buy insurance that may be more, more customary for you. I don't think that certain people are looking for maternity care of a certain age or a certain gender, for example. So with more competition and more choices in the market, which we currently just lack, you will have an opportunity to buy care that fits that fits you. I was talking to Republican Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas yesterday on this week. He's lobbying against this bill right now. He's warning House members not to walk the plank, saying they're going to lose the House if they vote for this bill. What do you say to Senator Cotton? I'm not looking at a political calculation whatsoever now. I'm not thinking about the next election, thinking about the millions of Americans who don't have care and don't have coverage and who want it and need it and who were expecting it through Obamacare. Uh, the other thing I would note is that Senator Cotton also said that there's major carpentry work to be done. So he was hopeful that something could pass and the president this entire last week George has been inviting people into the White House working the phones doing what leaders do listening negotiating being a decision maker being a deal maker and and he is taking all those inputs if people have ideas on how to improve the bill he is certainly listening to that he and the vice president are doing exactly that I've noted that the Democratic Party comes up with no ideas it's resist it's obstruct it's it's they're not even coming up with anything that might be workable to try to well, improve Well, they've said they're bill. willing to fix Obamacare if it's not repealed. Well, at least they're, at least they're, at least they're admitting that it's needing a major fix. I mean, how do you plug all the holes and patchwork something that's just not worked for many Americans? Certainly there are people on the exchanges who are happy, and they can continue doing that. The president in the five principles he let, laid out in the joint session two weeks ago, George, said principle number two was make sure there's a smooth transition for those Americans who are already on the exchanges. But you're talking about millions and millions of others who simply, some of them have an insurance card, and they literally can't use it. That's just the worst of all possible outcomes that you're told that we checked the box with you. You have health insurance coverage, but you don't have care because you can't afford the premiums and you can't afford the deductible. Kellyanne Conway, Thank thanks you. very much. Thanks.
Uh, and the White House on the Preet Bharara firing offering no explanation mm -hmm. for the president's change of heart from November to today, just saying this was routine uh, re resignation of all U.S. Nothing more.